This is the build video to the HS101 BLT, the Bluetooth oscilloscope that was featured in gadgets number 72. The USB oscilloscopes are powered through the USB cord, so if you're going to cut the cord and go Bluetooth, your first obstacle will be to find a power source. You guys are familiar with these small power banks, right? You got portable power to recharge your smartphones on the go. I just got this at Walmart, about eight bucks. Now the first thing I'm going to do is break it apart. You can cut along the seam fairly easily, and that's what's inside these things. This is a 2650 lithium battery, packs quite a punch. The circuit board in these things performs two tasks. One is to be a charge controller, so you can safely charge this lithium battery. The other is for the output, to take the four volt nominal from this battery and step it up to five volts output out here on this full scale USB. That complete assembly, the battery and the controller board, fits exactly without a millimeter to spare in this 100 by 60 by 25 millimeter ABS project box. This box is very easy to find. All the components to here with a little bit of legwork are very easy to find. If there is a problem with sourcing parts, it's actually in that you have to wait for them weeks. An old guy like me, by the time I get them, I have to try to remember what it is that I wanted them for in the first place. The power is taken right at the full-size USB on that controller board. That way you get the benefit of the battery protection circuit. You'll need to use additional flux when you try to solder those two wires on that USB. These small battery banks, they have a little push button on the side that starts the output. We need to replicate that feature on here. So there's a small push button on the side of the ABS box and two wires that go to either side of the small push button that's on the controller board. That's delicate soldering. That power off that full size USB goes to this small sliding on off switch before going to the circuit board. I host this circuit on my Google Drive. The link to download it is in the description below. Whenever I have room on a project, as I did in this case, I like the use of headers. The advantage of using the headers is that the STM32 controller board that plugs onto that or the HC-06 Bluetooth module can be easily removed if a firmware upgrade becomes available, for example. The STM32 microcontroller board has to be flashed with the proper firmware for this project, of course, following the procedure outlined in gadgets number 61. Flash it with this firmware file. HS101 oscilloscope BLT version 6 or higher. The HC-06 Bluetooth module has to be prepared for this project. Follow the instructions in gadgets number 71 for that. Then it's just a matter of plugging these two hats onto the headers of the circuit board. And the project will look like this. Snap the cover, project done. Calibration within H-scope is a two-step procedure you first calibrate at the zero level. For that, you ground the center pin of the BNC. You can use a, a cable with alligator clips and ground them. I prefer this little male BNC connector. I have soldered the pins together in here, and it's a nice portable solution to this. Zero calibration on channel one. Continue. Done. The second step of the procedure is to provide a known voltage between 1 and 5 volts. My preference is gadget number 42, which provides a known 5 volt calibration multiplier. We're going to tell it it's 5 volts. Continue. 
done. Our HS101 BLT is now calibrated and that calibration data is now stored on the STM32 microcontroller memory where it remains with the oscilloscope as opposed to being stored in the Android device where it can be easily lost. Here I've got a waveform generator uh, hooked up directly to the HS101 BLT. I'm showing you a 2 kilohertz square wave being uh, captured at 450 kilo samples per second. Uh, that's decent. Within H-Scope is the automotive module and the best way to describe that to someone who's never used it is that it allows you to record real-time a stream and that's a, a whole different ball game than uh, what we were looking at in our scope mode. When we use USB oscilloscopes with the automotive module, you get about 125 kilo sample per second limit on the use of that streaming in the automotive mode with the OSC42. Really nice little scope. And two kilo sample per second with a venerable. Hantec HT1008. So where does the HS101 BLT fall here in the automotive module mode? In between, you can get 10 kilo sample per second rate. In the demo video in Gadget 72, when I was doing that brake pressure switch uh, test, I was using the automotive module with an H scope at 10 kilo samples per second there. When we were doing the test drive with the wheel sensor, I was going real time scope mode at 50 kilo samples per second to give you some background. All in all, this is a very fun build. You'll end up with a very capable, really neat little Bluetooth oscilloscope. I've got a couple more of these uh, Bluetooth projects uh, in mind and uh, look forward to those and we'll talk to you guys soon.